All righty. I just got off the conference call for the announcement of the sale. I'm going to and basically go over everything that I learned and everything in the investor presentation as well. Um, so this should answer all of your questions. If you have any further ones, comment down in the comment section down below. I am reading off of notes and slides. So if I pause or um, I stumble a little bit, that is why this isn't going to be super professional, but um, I'm just going to list off everything I know. So basically, Cedar Fair um, was down 2% despite having a 1% increase in attendance and Six Flags attendance was up in Q3 16%. So they did have a strong quarter. Both parks are experiencing strong season pass sales into the 2024 season between um, essentially 17% and 20%. Or 11%, sorry, $20 million at Cedar Fair and 11% increase in season pass sales, whereas a 17% increase in season pass sales at Six Flags with $22 million increase. Um, so both parks are experiencing strong forward um, looking um, positions for the 2024 season. But with the sale, which is what you guys are all here for, um, the parks combining would create uh, essentially 27 amusement parks, 15 water parks. Let me get to my actual notes here. Um, 15 water parks, uh, hotel, nine hotels and resorts, seven campgrounds, two safaris and animal experiences, two sport facilities, and three marinas. So definitely a very large portfolio um, that they'll be taking over. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of shocked at how easy this was for them. I thought there was laws in the States, but I guess... Um, it wasn't that serious of a conglomerate that they're becoming that would have like triggered a bell. This is going to take a lot longer than they are saying on the conference call. So on the conference call, they're wording it like uh, essentially by the middle of next year, um, everything will be done. But you have to remember, if you remember when Cedar Fair took over Paramount, it's going to take an extra year or two um, for the names, um, any decisions that they're making, any park sales that they might go um, about uh, to take place. So um, again, do not expect everything done by the halfway point next year. It's going to take another like two to three years after that. Um, so combined, they'll have 42 essentially attractions or parks. Um, attendance will be about 48 million. Their revenue will be about 3.4 billion, which is crazy. Um, their adjusted EBITDA will be about 1.2 billion and um, uh, their margin will be 36% along with the free cash flow at $826 million, which is crazy. Um, with Synergy's net leverage around 3.7% or 3.7 times. Again, that's gonna, they do expect that to drop down to the 3% mark. Um, but nonetheless, um, definitely some really strong leverage that they are taking over. Um, they talked a lot about that free cash flow and the essentially the revenue and the net leverage that they have maximizing investments in food and beverage um, and attractions at all their parks. With that being mentioned, um, they do plan to keep, uh, as of right now on the call, it is really early in the sale. So obviously there can be changes a year from now. There's gonna be more discussions that happen, but they plan on keeping both Peanuts and the DC characters and uh, the Looney Tunes. Um, and they do plan on leveraging this based off of the call as well. This doesn't mean that every Cedar Fair Park is going to get DC and Looney Tunes, and this doesn't mean every Six Flags Park is going to get Peanuts. They're going to pick and choose, and they're going to make some smart decisions. I think this is going to be a lot better than, as you can tell, I'm panicking, but I'm trying to look positively. Uh, the conference call definitely gave me some strong outlook for the company as well. But um, I, I definitely think that um, some parks will leverage these and some won't. Um, just for example, not every park is going to get the Six Flags logo slapped on it. And not um, every, like, uh, I don't expect Cedar Point to become Six Flags Cedar Point. Don't expect Canada's Wonderland to become Six Flags Canada's Wonderland. They might keep their original branding name. This is just two companies merging with a larger a portfolio to access these IPs and brands. Um, they are um, bringing together two iconic businesses to create a expanded portfolio of 42 parks and nine resort properties across North America. 
Um, complementary geographic footprints enhance diversification and reduce dependency on any single park or geography, mitigating weather risk. This is a really important statement because uh, weather, for example, impacts a smaller portfolio chain. When it is rolled over a lot of your parks, you're, you're impacted greatly. But when you have a portfolio that stretches across the U.S. in a much greater way, you're less impacted by weather. Um they are definitely going to um, use the synergies of merging to pay down debt. Um, they're going to refinance the Six Flags debt as well. Um, and a lot of the key questions, and you might know this information, so I'm not going to touch on this too uh, long, but essentially Cedar Fair will be the majority um, owners at 51.2% and Six Flags shareholders will be at 48.8%. Um Salem will be uh, the head of board of directors and Zimmerman will stay the CEO and um, Brian will remain the CFO. So the two key people at Cedar Fair will remain in their positions, which definitely gives me ease of mind. Um, so definitely, <laughs> definitely really calmed about that. And they, again, there was a lot of talk about great investments coming to the parks in terms of food and beverage, technology, and rides and attractions um, based off of this. So definitely don't panic too much. Um, there's going to, I, I, I'm not going to talk too much on the Hold Co., Corp shares. Um, I didn't do my, again, I listened to the, the conference call and then I, I'm making this video. I want to go do more research on the Hold Co. Corp shares part of this before I talk on it. Um, so again, just to go more in detail, Executive Chairman Salem will be CEO Richard Zimmerman, CFO Brian Witherow, Chief Integration Officer Gary Mick, and the board will consist of six Cedar Fair and six Six Flags people. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other important information in terms of that. There is definitely um, a plan. They already have a big plan for enhancing the guest experience. So um, more diversified guest experience across various live entertainment formats, including amusement parks, water parks, resorts, safaris, and campgrounds, partnerships with leading entertainment businesses, and a portfolio of beloved IP such as Looney Tunes, DC Comics, Peanuts, and developing engaging new attractions, more robust operating platform. This is that app um, and um, technology leveraging Cedar Fair's recent park investments experience to accelerate Six Flags portfolio transformation. So that's a, a really key one. Um, they did touch on the fact that um, how they want to run the company is essentially under Cedar Fair is method of investing in the company and then Six Flags is investment in technology um, and innovation. Um, again, they're going to combine their technology platforms and, uh, they're going to have, they're going to have greater flexibility to invest in new rides and attraction and definitely expanded park access offerings with obviously some sort of new pass. So this is just, um, a, a graph that shows you the free cash flow for both Six Flags and Cedar Fair, um, separated and then combined. So there's definitely a great. Um, benefit in terms of free cash flow for these two companies to join force. There's a lot of great benefits as well. I'm going to release another video more detailed on Canada's Wonderlands kind of outlook with this. But um, yeah, so let me go on over here. I think I just posted the same one twice, but um, essentially the timeline for this, again, they're, they're saying about halfway through 2024, the transaction will close, but the transaction closing does not mean um, that everything will be done. So again, there's a lot of work to be done in terms of this. They got to appeal to the Six Flags shareholders. Um, again, um, they got to, there's going, in my personal opinion, there's going to be some park sales. It's not going to be anything major. You're not going to see them sell Six Flags Magic Mountain, Canada's Wonder the Kings Island, Carowinds, or anything. You're going to see, you know, a lot of the, maybe the smaller parks um, be up on the chopping block in terms of, you know, paying down debt um, and obviously the sale. Uh, there, <laughs> It's a big transaction. But um, what's really interesting, again, is um, it is all fun and games when uh, two companies merge together and become a conglomerate. It does benefit us to, you know, that season pass offering, 
you can go to all these parks. But I'm telling you, price wise, um, this is a scary thing. When you have no competition, you're able to do essentially whatever you want. So I, again, just keep that in mind. This isn't as good as you may think. There are definitely a lot of negatives. There are a lot of positives for the Six Flags side of things, in my opinion. Um, and Seer Fair, based off of what I'm seeing, it's essentially a lot of the same um, with access to more things. So hopefully, you know, um, this everything that's been going on stays the same, but we'll have to. So stay tuned to this channel. Um, there'll be a Canada's Wonderland edition of this coming out in probably like three to four hours um, with more thoughts on that. And obviously, um, yeah, some construction updates. So um, let me calm down, get some coffee in me, um, and I'll uh, definitely have more thoughts on this. I just wanted to provide you guys with all the details so far. Um, that I know. So just keep in mind that the Six Flags name is not going to be plastered on all the parks. Um, Cedar Fair will be kind of like leading the company. Stocks will fall under fun. So the Cedar Fair side of things. Um, and yeah, just a broader access to more IPs like Looney Tunes, DC, um, and a lot more opportunity to invest in larger scale attractions in food and beverage, um, rides and entertainment and stuff. So definitely, um, stay tuned. I, I hopefully this is exciting and not, a a, a, a bad idea about to unfold. Have a good one guys. Bye.